In this video, I want to show you how we turn uh, orange, bright orange pumpkins from the Dollar Tree into shabby chic decor for Halloween. Okay, like I said, we, were, we have some orange pumpkins that we bought from the Dollar Tree that um, they were only a dollar each and I wanted to decorate our mantle. Uh, using them but I didn't want the bright orange look so we dressed them up and I just want to show you how we did that and then I'll show you the mantle. Uh, the first thing we do is just get the bright orange pumpkins and I already painted these um, but they come with a just a top to them a stem um, a foam stem and I just pulled those off and they have a little toothpick in there so you just pull them off and then you paint them so for these I wanted to paint just white. I wanted to get a couple different styles. So I'm using this paint and I'll link it below. Uh, paint Apple Barrel from Walmart. I think it's 50 cents. I'm just using the regular white. You can use any any kind that you want. So just pour this on a, a plate. There's still some orange showing on here so I just want to paint that to get all that orange off and you can actually just paint it as little or as much as you want um, if you want a little bit of orange showing for your decor that's fine now the top doesn't matter and I'll show you why in a second uh, to some of them but I want to make sure that no orange is showing on mine at the top so I'm gonna go ahead and just paint it and the bottom doesn't really matter either but so this is what it looks like after I paint it. This is a nice white color and I took, like I said, I took off the stem. It still has the, the um, toothpick on there. I'm going to keep that on there because what I'm going to do with this white one is use some more toothpicks. And then I made another one and I will put the toothpicks in the bottom of this one. It doesn't work as well if you put the toothpicks in the top of the the one that you have on the bottom because um, whenever you're pushing down with this one it will um, it'll just push the toothpicks right in there so it doesn't really work as well but if you put them in the top one first and put as many as you want to just to hold the pumpkin up and then I kind of hold on, figure out which one I like, which way I like the best. And I hold on to the, these until they're nice and sturdy. And then I'll put the pumpkins on top of each other. And then what I did was just get some little spiders and you can get, you know, all different kind of animal or insects and, you know, the worms or whatever that you want. And I, I just hot glued it. Just use my hot glue gun and hot glue them to the pumpkins. Like I said, you can fill this up as much as you want. I just got a couple on there. And what I use for the stem, you can use um, like little sticks, things like that. But I, we had some sunflowers out there. You might have seen on my Instagram the um, the the thing I did with my sunflowers. I just cut the stem off of the sunflowers and just you can just push them right in there. So um, that's what I did for this, and this is what these look like. And like I said, there's I just put three little spiders on there. So that's those. And you can also, if you want to make it a little bit shinier, you can put some Mod Podge on there. That's where I have this out, some gloss Mod Podge, and it'll make it shiny and it'll keep that that white the the paint if you want to use them for next year. So that's just a little tip there. The next ones that I wanted to do was um, I wanted to use this oh a spider web that I got from uh, I believe I got this from Walmart it was like 89 cents and it came with little spiders so that's why I got this one um, and what I did to the pumpkins I just painted them black a gloss black and I put the spider web all over it now probably if I was to do it again I probably would put several uh, coats of the spider web because I did put a few spiders on there. You just I hot glue them. You just can't tell because it's 
you know, it's kind of blending in with the black. But you can put as much um, spider web on there if you uh, as you want. And I just pulled the stem off of this one as well because I'm going to use kind of a Victorian style shabby chic pumpkin. I just got some lace and I just hot glued the lace. It came in strips. So I just hot glued the lace onto this pumpkin. So it's pretty much the same thing except for the I painted it black and I put the lace strips on it and I just hot glued a couple of spiders to there. Um, and I also put another sunflower stem in there as well. Uh, so then you would do the same thing to where you would get your toothpicks. This is a little bit more difficult because of the hot glue in there. It doesn't like to, the hot glue is um, it's a little bit hard to where it's hard to put the toothpicks in there. But you just have to find a spot that doesn't have a, a big amount of hot glue on there and um, just push it in like that. Just find the spot that you want. Like this side. And just push them in with your hands. And then just like that. So there's another one of our like a Victorian style, like I said, uh, shabby chic pumpkins. So just another style that you want. And you don't have to do the two. You can actually do three or as many as you want layers. Or you don't have to do layers at all. You just do the one and um, place those around your, your mantle. So either way will work. So that's what I did with my pumpkins. And then I'll show you what we did with our mantle for Halloween this year. And this is our finished mantle after we decorated it this year. Um, for the jar right there, I just painted in the corner. I just uh, broke a little limb off of a tree and painted it uh, glossy black and put it in the jar. You can put as many or as few as you want. Uh, for that little green jar, I found that is at a flea market. Of course, I found the little clear jar at a flea market as well. Um, but I just labeled it, put a label on there that I got off of the internet, and it says hemlock powder. <laughs> uh, so I found it there. For the bats, I just cut them with black construction paper, and I cut them out with my Silhouette Cameo. And then we just got the LED candle from uh, Walmart. It came in a pack of two, so I have another one. Uh, the printout I just got, I believe, from Creative Market. And um, if you are a subscriber to my to our newsletter, then you'll see that we gave those away, one of those away. So make sure you subscribe for another fun for other fun giveaways. Now that cow head, we had that. It was in our field, so um, that was. Oh, forever ago was when we got that, so um, I just used that as part of the decor. The netting is from Dollar General. It was a dollar. And we have, if you can tell that there's some blinking LED lights in the background. So I'll show you what it looks like after dark, whenever it's dark in here. I just put a little bit of spider web, what we had left over, uh, just on, in the on the wall there. Um, the the jar, or the Purex jar, we got that from a flea market. And that lantern, I got it at Walmart. It was black and I just painted it white and distressed it. And uh, we have a candle, and one, another one of those LED candles in there. The little pumpkins we got from Walmart as well. Uh, the glass jar there, I got that at flea market. I've used it for several things. Um, I have also used it for Christmas and I'll put a link down below on what we used it for Christmas last year and I've used that for several things and it's really a nice decorative item there. Um, I just put some of that netting in the jar as well and the skull is part of a as part of a grouping that had a we got it years ago I don't even remember where but it had the skull and some hands and feet. And this is what we have left after everything is the skull. So he's used, he's gonna be used as part of our decor this year. And that's it, that is our Halloween mantle. 
and hopefully it'll give you guys some inspiration to make your own Halloween mantle. Let me know if you do that in the comments below if you if you decorate for Halloween or not. Um, a lot of times we don't, but sometimes it's just fun, especially when you have some things left over um, that you can just decorate for Halloween. so much for watching and um, don't forget to let me know in the comments below if you decorate for Halloween as well. If you like these videos don't forget to subscribe below and make sure you hit that bell to receive any notifications for when we make new videos. So thanks so much for watching. Until next time.